I want sugar coat anything. We don't have legal casinos. casinos. Taiwanese people uh, like gambling, and that's why they raise uh, pigeons. Traveling in Taiwan, you see pigeon lofts everywhere. But paradoxically, it's a completely underground industry fueled by billions of dollars in illegal gambling. In Zhongzhen clock, the bad money is three to four hundred million Taiwanese dollars. We see we gave up motorcycle, refrigerator, they can't carry us. This is just a cover. It's so lucrative that it spawned a second wave of criminal activity. Kidnapping birds for ransom, extortion and threats, race fixing, drugging pigeons. They buy champion pigeons from all over the world and use them for breeding. Mr. Chen was charted as by gangsters. I don't feel sorry for him. The real victims are the birds. This is the biggest club in Taiwan. 140,000 pigeons. They're all young birds, born at Mondo. The first round is 150 kilometers. Every time it's 30 kilometers more. Experts acknowledge that it's unnatural and terrifying for birds to fly long distances where there's no land in sight. No matter how strong the wind and how heavy the rain, we had to release the birds. When there are storms or if it's overcast over the ocean, they have no reference points to navigate with. And they'll circle the ships, desperately trying to figure out the right direction home. It was raining pigeons, literally. You could see the whole surface of the ocean filled with dead pigeons. Less than 1% of birds are expected to survive any given race series. About 80,000 didn't come by. 5,044 went out, 36 came back. Some came back legless, some had their wings injured. An apparent violation of Taiwan's Criminal Code and Animal Protection Act. Pigeons are remarkably intelligent and they can live into their 20s, but in Taiwanese pigeon racing, most are killed before they're six months old. Even those who make it back safely, but not fast enough, have their necks broken. Euthanasia. When they come back, what do you say? Do you know? They only race once. 